A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you stand, men of the West! Hello, everybody. I'm the Last Pretender, and uh, now we're on turn 46 of our of our redemption series as MA Man. Um, recently, we finished uh, our war with Airmore. We've uh, kind of negotiated the remaining provinces in a peace with uh, Facia and Ashdod, and uh, we've gone ahead and, and vultured a little bit of a fortress uh, from Satis, who has pretty much fallen by this point in time to Vanheim and uh, we've negotiated peace with Nabah uh, and sort of alliance with Nabah but Nabah let us down a little and started losing to Jotunheim now this isn't the end of the world uh, honestly <clears throat> this isn't the end of the world because uh, because Nabah um, being that they faltered against Jotunheim we're going to get some provinces out of it if we can win this war. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I, I do... I don't know. I wonder what could have been done differently. Um, maybe let the war with Jotunheim continue against Nabob. Maybe let that drag on. I don't know if it was going to work or not. And maybe forge an alliance with End or something maybe to kill Vanheim. I don't know. Uh, but... Whatever the better decision may have been, it's hard to say, but this is where we are now. We're best friends with Naba, ride or die with our desert elf friends, and uh, we're preparing war against the Frost Giants, so let's go ahead and see how turn 46 starts treating us. So yeah, we are sight searching a lot, um, and you can see we are going to miss a lot of stuff. Did we find anything? Quicksand. Hooray! We found one. Uh, and now assassins are starting to become a problem, so that's great news. Uh, we do go ahead and take his province. There's nothing there. Um, so we just storm the fortress. Uh, as far as events go, uh, not a lot's going on here. Um, got a little bit of blood slaves and stuff like that. Um, curing some diseases. So, what I'm going to do to deal with these annoying assassins... Oh, and of course, uh, Vanheim does not win like they thought they were gonna. Uh, which is kind of a shame, because now would have been the time for me to invade <laughs> Satis, right? But, uh, so it goes. I'm going to go ahead and build a temple here, because I don't want this... Um, one of the things that's really tough about Satis and makes them frustrating to deal with is that if you're in their dominion, they will disease your units. Uh, that's why I've got, you know, this guy's got a disease and all kinds of stuff. But... Um, so that's obviously super frustrating. Um, and that's so I'm going to have uh, her build a, a temple here. What I've done is I've given all of them um, a, uh, a nature gym. So let's take a moment here and watch the assassination. So uh, so the next thing that's annoying about Satis, I mean, that's a lot of things, all right? Every nation's got its quirks, uh, is that they've got these assassins who are nature assassins, which is always a nightmare because they're going to cast swarm. Um... So, here we go. Boop. Does it hit? Does it hit? Does it hit? Nope. Okay. Um, and so, pretty much, that spells the demise of my girl. Um, so, as you can see, this is problematic as heck. Um, but, the good news is... Uh, so, so that's very, very powerful. Now, during an assassination, you guys go off script, so you don't have to change them. And they will highly value casting... Uh, uh, Creeping Doom. They will highly value casting Creeping Doom. And my Creeping Doom will beat his swarm. It appears he does not have Creeping Doom. Or else, yeah, whatever. Uh, or, wait, does he not have the... He might not have the levels to cast it. Um, so I would pretty much win the battle if he tried. Yeah, he doesn't have the levels to cast Creeping Doom. Whereas most of my mages do. Whereas some... Okay, not most of them do. Some of them do. But in any event, we'll have a swarm off. 
And uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll get a kill off of them, or at least we'll tax them harder. Uh, so that's why I went ahead and gave a, a nature gem to all these mages. I then went ahead and put people on patrol, because uh, with the size of my army, odds are very good we will catch his assassin if he tries to make another play. So That's why we're doing that. Doing more sight searching as much as we can. Um... AG Elric's hanging out over here. He's going to be shuttling troops at some point in the future. We're continuing to build up our force right here. Uh, more and more troopers coming on in. Trying to bulk up. And uh, you can see a huge mistake. A hu it's not a huge mistake right now, but it's going to become a huge mistake. Which is that uh, I am not going to account for this lady. Uh, the Huntress, I believe she's Nature 2 Water 2, if I recall correctly. Um, and he is going to use her as a very dangerous entity, um, that we're going to, to see soon. But, uh, before we get into all that, we're going to continue to, uh, blow ourselves up. We've built a temple here. We're not going to do anything here. We're, other than just build a temple, we're not going to upgrade this fort because there's no money involved. Um, these units are kind of hanging out, doing research and that sort of thing, recruiting more ladies to kind of power up this force a little bit. To act as sort of a defensive force against any uh, Jotunheim invasion once we start our war with them. Um, though I feel pretty confident, and my ally feels very confident, that uh, him and I together will be able to defeat Jotunheim. However true that is, I don't know. But uh, we've taken this province, so that's good news. Uh, and that's about it, realistically. Um... I don't know much else other than that. So, uh, is there anything interesting happening in the score graph situation? Uh, the biggest and most obvious thing is, um, oh, I guess this is important. Um, Facia, I believe allied, I want to say Facia allied, let me take a look here. No, I guess Fish hasn't done much. I don't really know what Fish is doing. I don't really know what they're doing at this point in time in the game. Um, but you can see that Vanheim is all over the place. Uh, as far as income goes, oh, all in this spooky, spooky, spooky. Uh, my gym income is jumping back up now that I'm doing all this site searching, so that's pretty great news. Um, and that's kind of where we are. So let's go ahead and hop on over to turn 47. Turn 47. Kapow. So, uh, we've got, you know, some uh, construction done. Uh, so, construction 7, like I said, for weapons of sharpness uh, and for ability to summon a golem. We've got conjuration 6, which is going to let us summon a flame spirit, which is nice. And now we're going to go through enchantment so we can try to give uh, mass uh, regeneration. Now, a lot of sight searching happening. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if this is like the best thing in the universe to just sight search as much as all this but I do it because like I find it really satisfying when all the little colors are and it says nine on all of them I find that very satisfying I'm not sure that it's the best way to do it uh, it does save a lot of mage turns to do that instead of sending them out individually and, and, and manually sight searching but uh, I'm not sure if it's the right call or not but I do it because I like seeing the little colors uh, but yeah, uh, and it's gonna do wonders for my income, though my overall gym count may suffer for it. And obviously, the longer the game goes, the more beneficial it will have been to have done that, so. Anyway, we've got ourselves, uh, Jotunheim Naba battle. Let's see how this goes. Uh, this is nothing. This is a scout who got found, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, we've got, um, his assassin got found, or something. No, what's he doing? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing here. This is like a raiding force, I guess. I guess this is a raiding force he's got going on. Uh, we see another battle over at Naba, and uh, this is a much bigger army. And this is Turbo Communion time. Yeah, this is Turbo Communion o'clock. Um, now, all enemies passing through will suffer ten armor piercing fire damage. So, because he's got a flame uh, spell up. 
So yeah, so he just went ahead and powered up his, his Turbo Communion. So we're gonna see how this goes. Turbo Communion versus um, versus a uh, an inanimate god. Let's see what wins. So this should be a pretty exciting battle. That's a lot of uh, skeletons. That's an awful lot. Oh! Shimmering Fields, right? Oh no, Wrathful Skies. Get those two confused, the names. Uh, Wrathful Skies gets cast, and that is going to be a big deal, because you're going to see it's going to tap into some of these dudes in the back. So. Yeah. That Wrathful Skies, though. Whew. It's a lot of undead. It's a lot of undead. But occasionally getting struck by lightning is a problem. And uh, Jotunheim is weak to, to shock damage. But you can see they're starting to lose uh, uh, Scrotty because of Shimmering Fields. I, I mean, because of Wrathful Skies and because they just can't keep up. I guess they can keep up. But... Yep, yeah, some of them are taking damage, some of them are retreating, some of them are getting struck by lightning. Take a look at these ladies. There had to be some kind of way for them to deal with this. I don't really know. I'm trying to think how you should have dealt with this as Jotunheim, and I'm not 100% certain I've got a great answer for it. Um, there must have been something. I, I'd have to think about it, but there's got to be some better way than just hope that enough skeletons win, because it's just not happening. I mean, look at this. This thing's got a million... Like, you're just not going to get through with this. It's ethereal. It's It's got a million protection. And, uh, yeah, Wrathful Skies is eventually going to, uh, to do in. Yeah, see, eventually they're going to get picked off by getting struck by lightning and stuff. Uh, that's eventually going to do in the, uh, the forces of Jotunheim here. Really a bad play, I think. I think that Jotunheim, what they definitely should have done is should have just not attacked the cat. They should have just not attacked the cat at all. Right? Um, can you see here? Yeah. They should have just not attacked the cat at all and just just drain Nabob the rest of his, of his uh, provinces. That would have been the wise move. Um, but that is not what they did. Uh, instead, they took a different route. Let's see if he's gonna kill these, uh, these Scrotty. I suspect he will. Maybe he won't. Oh, the wolves are here. Almost. This is exciting. Tanky freaking Scrotty. This is as fast as it'll go, guys. I'm about to give up. And just say, yeah, at some point in time, I think they die. Okay, one of them runs, and this guy's probably going to run too eventually. Yeah, his fatigue's gone down, so. Ooh, I don't know if he gets struck by lightning enough, though. 
It looks like it's not gonna happen though. It looks like he's gonna regenerate out of it. That didn't get him? It sure looked like it got him. Yeah, he's gonna get away. He's gonna kill this thing. I'm not sure why he's not running. He's just sitting there. He's got 47 fatigue. I don't understand why he's not moving. But he's paralyzed for like a long time. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's gonna go down now. He's gonna get away. Any second. Or whatever. Maybe he's mad paralyzed. I don't know. Listen, I don't. I don't know if I care. I'm gonna. I, we're too. We're too. We're in too deep. Lost. Uh, this is a sunken cost fallacy. But I'm. I feel like I'm in too deep. I gotta see what happens. Oh. It's not gonna get him. 22 paralyzed. Oh, he got struck again by lightning. Did that? Yeah, 20, okay. Oh, he got struck again by lightning. 19. He died! Of something. Wait! Did Nabaz God die? Nabaz God died because of that. Because they, they timed out. They timed out and they couldn't retreat. <whistles> Interesting! I don't remember uh, recognizing that. But yeah, you can see uh, this was a very bad battle ultimately for Jotunheim. This is obviously worse for Jotunheim. Um, as he lost a major death ball force. It's very, very expensive. I mean, these dudes are pricey as heck. So, that's what happened there. Anywho, uh, Marshmaster still running around in our stuff, being annoying. Uh, whew, can't believe that. Uh, we did catch his, uh, his little jerk. Um, we caught his, uh, his assassin. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and move on over here. Um, and, uh, this is the turn where we begin our invasion. So let me tell you the big brain move I'm going to do. Keep this in mind. This is going to be important. Um... I'm gonna have these two ladies, Sneaky Girl 1, Sneaky Girl 2. Because I'm, I'm a little worried about these uh, Turbo Communions. So, my plan was to do something like uh, Foul Vapors. <clears throat> that would poison, not the, uh, I mean, I guess it would too, but it wouldn't matter. That would poison, not necessarily the, the Scrotty, but it would poison the Casters. And kill them eventually, and, or cause them to rout. And that's how I was going to beat the Turbo Communion. Um, along with uh, some people cost casting a Stellar Decree and that kind of stuff, right? Um, obviously, I'm going to have Foul Vapors up. I'm going to have Fog Warriors up. I'm going to have Howl up. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Lots of Stellar Decrees. Mass Protection is going to be up. Mass Flight's going to go up. And that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna, I've even got Divine Channeling that's going to go off. All kinds of awesome stuff. Well, these two are going to be my sneaky ladies who whenever I see a big army coming... We'll put them down and make it happen so we're about to see uh how cool that's gonna go otherwise this force is building up um you know i'm gonna recruit some more daughters to act as communion slaves uh for the ultimate defense uh this force is gonna be moving north and they're gonna come up this way ideally to go ahead and uh sort of attack from another front so that, that way i've got a guy here got a guy here got a guy here and be coming out of three different directions uh, should cause them to crumble pretty quickly is the game plan. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to do a lot of site searching. Uh, like I said, research is going up to Enchantment 8. Then I'm going into Thaumaturgy 7. Because at Thaumaturgy 7, I get Charm. And I would like to have Charm. Charm is a good spell. So, that's what I got going on there. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on over to turn 48. So, turn 48. Boom. Wow. Uh, a lot of site searching happening. And you can see we're finding stuff. Maybe we're not. Uh, but we're doing our best. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how another battle goes on with uh, the ladies of Naba going up against uh, the sort of remnant of the invading force of, uh, of Yotunheim. 
Let's see what they cast. I don't even quite remember. Oh, I think I know it's about to go down. Let's see if they do it. Yes. So, uh, we've got a nice firestorm that's going to go across the whole land. And that is going to be a huge problem for these dudes. Uh, this is a great way to deal with, like, communions and stuff, obviously, is to have big AoEs like this. Um, I don't remember what the actual damage run is. What is it? Let's see here. Uh, it's six. Versus protection roll. Oh, interesting. There's a protection involved? I didn't know it was... Let's take a look here. Yeah, versus a protection roll. So it's, it's armor piercing, right? Yeah, it's an armor piercing move. Um, but yeah, that is going to cause a problem against mages, though. Mages are not going to like this spell. Um, so that is actually going to do stuff to them that they are going to be most frowny faced upon. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, there's just not enough, right? There's just not enough units left to realistically deal with, uh, to have a turbo communion and stuff to deal with these super hardy combatants. Who, um, yeah. Yep. So, that basically kills a, a little bit more. Of the, uh, the army, that of which was sent by Jotunheim. Let's take a look at another another force here. Um, this is a big fat nothing, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, Naba takes it. Uh, now, our invasion has begun. Our invasion has begun. Here's our cool dudes, and we're going to fight a, a nothing province, so we're not going to worry about that too much. And then this is a big turn of events, which is Ulm invades Ishtar. And Ulm is very strong and very good at invading places. And, uh, uh, I don't know exactly what happens. What I do know is, uh, long story short, I'm not going to get to see a lot of the battles. But Ulm is going to nightmare just, I mean, it is Cthulhu-esque consumption of Ashtad. Ashtad just gets obliterated. I don't know, I don't know what happens exactly, but I know it's bad. Um... I don't know what's happening here. I guess, um, for reasons that are not 100% clear to me, um, Ulm is just, I, I don't, Jotunheim is just being annoying, but this isn't really going to work, I don't think. I guess these are just the remaining forces that of which exist around Naba that are getting cleaned up, uh, by Naba. So, got some random events happening, got some, some death gems, some fire gems. Long live King of Old. What? Oh, yeah. This is a cool thing. We get some more annoying stuff happening. Um, so, this is going to be a problem for a long time. I don't really worry about it because, like, uh, well, this province doesn't have any value to me. <laughs> all it has is a temple. It's all I really care about. Everything else is pretty much irrelevant to me. Um, but we're starting to get, you know... Uh, stuff going on is we're going to continue our invasion north, uh, spreading all around, and uh, like I said, I wanted to move here. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here. I wanted to go here, not here, but uh, uh, Naboth, I mean, Vanheim throws a little fit about it, threatens to go to war with me over it, so I end up just moving here, I think, or something like that. I don't remember exactly what ends up happening truly don't remember but uh oh no this was my province that's right this was my province and i'm like no 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 no. this is mine so i, I send my, my military over here we take that and then uh move the rest of my forces up north we're gonna form a little coalition here and begin our invasion into uh the good boys of jotunheim we've got a significant force built up here with a lot more communion slaves from uh mothers uh from daughters of avalon and we're gonna begin to to march east uh because we needed to kill jotunheim quickly before ishtad falls was the thought process uh so that way we can get the jump on Alm, who is very big and scary anywho that's pretty much all that's going on here um let's go ahead and uh hop on over 
to turn 49, shall we? Try to pick up the pace a little bit, I say, I say, I say. I say. Pow, boom. Uh, so again, more site searching going down. I feel like I'm moving too quick. I'll, I'll, I'll probably take a break after this. Um, so we do get uh, a good old effort to try and find some information on, I think, I want to say this is in Jotunheim, uh, but this is going to be important. So let's go ahead and watch some battles as Jotunheim re retaliates against us. So as you can see, we're sending troops out to go ahead and kind of um, try and do some raiding um, against Jotunheim. Um, so uh, that's what we're going to do. Very cool. Um, so that's helpful. We have an undefended territory that gets taken there. Um, and, uh, we've got a classic maneuver from Jotunheim, which is to use this hag, um, to go ahead and, and kind of do some raiding as well. Summoning imps to do so. Uh, I don't remember if this works or not. I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't think it does. Doesn't look like it will. Oh no, it looks like it will. This is gonna be enough, I think. Oh, maybe not. Very close. But yeah, looks like uh, looks like they're just gonna hold on here. So there goes the hag. Uh, then we've got this battle over here, wherein again we've got uh, we've got uh, these hags being used as sort of raiders. This time, summoning skeletons. Um, and using wolf riders uh, to much success that time. So good for him uh, as he goes ahead and raids my territory. It makes me very sad. Uh, again, a similar story where he's doing some raiding. Um, and this should not be a problem for these guys. These guys should be able to eat my dudes up pretty good. Yep. There go my boys. Very sad. Very sad indeed. Um, now over here... Uh, a little bit more sizable force from both sides. Um, no, no real magical support that's worth note. Um, let's see how this goes. I feel like Jotunheim will win this, and it looks like he does. Yeah. So that's good for Jotunheim, as he goes ahead and takes the Bone Lands. We, uh, we've taken over a province. Uh, this is a very important battle. So if you remember, uh, I saw this chick and I, I did nothing about it. And look at how strong she is. And uh, she's good in juice right now. And what she's gonna go ahead and do is she's going to cast Foul Vapors. Now, if you'll recall, I wasn't thinking about the Jotunheim's ability. To, I was like, Jotunheim can't cast Foul Vapors. I don't have to worry about that. But I didn't think about this chick doing it. And if you recall, I have two mages that are hidden right now still on this province. On this province. That would cast Foul Vapors and Serpent's Blessing, which would have saved me from a tremendous problem that we're about to experience here. So we see our military going in and we're going to cast a whole bunch of spells. Fog warriors and all that good stuff. And boom, we're going to get into the back line very quickly and start attacking them. Now, here's the problem. These idiots are going to try to heal stuff constantly. They're just going to cast heal all over the place. If they didn't have this on them, they would be casting something like Thunderstrike. Or, or, or Lightning Bolt. Which I'm pretty sure would just kill her. Right? She doesn't have any resistances or anything like that. She's not getting enough generation to make up for it. We would have won this battle. Instead, what will happen uh, is very bad. <laughs> I was a very sad boy when I saw this. I was like, no! You know, Darth Vader scream? Uh, yeah, you can hear over here. I got women dying. You know, they're healing each other. They're getting poisoned and stuff. 
This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh god, you can hear him dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I had the answer. I had it. <laughs> it was right there. And I just didn't do it. Uh, and just, I mean, a massacre. Just an utter massacre of my greatest army. <gasps> yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> God. <gasps> oh, no. So, uh, that all was very bad. Um, and as you can see, I lost 191 troops. Uh, most of my, uh, casters. Rihanna died. Um, I think... Did, uh... Let me see who else died. Uh... Yeah, I think... Yeah, Angel Rick. He died. That legendary guy who's seen so much. He died. Um, you know, a lot of important people died. <laughs> this is all very bad. That's all I have really to say about that, um, and this utter freaking massacre. God, that's a lot of losses. It's a lot of losses. I mean, these are 175 gold a pop, and I lost nine of them. So, that's great news. Um, and I also had some retreat stuff going on. Um, some of them didn't make it, but that's cool news. So that all went terrible. Um... And then, interestingly enough, Naba is actually going to land on the same province. Neither of us knew about this happening. Also, we should have communicated so we deployed a bomb. Um, but here we go. I don't think this is going to cut it. Yeah, she's getting poisoned, see? She doesn't like this. And she's going to rout. And that's going to make this thing just poof away. Poof. Yeah. So, that was all quite bad. Uh, Queen Forest did not go well for us. Uh, we have some unexpected events happening. We got some gold, which is pretty good. Um, a wand of wildfire is kind of cool. Uh, we got some weird stuff going on here. Uh, my, uh, my scout got discovered. And, uh, now, uh, we're still under siege there. So for the most part, this is all gone nightmarishly bad. Um, this battle has gone terrible. I'm going to go ahead and pull as many of my troops back as I can to go to here. Some of them are going to go here, and we'll see if they make it or not. Um, I've got Uthrid. He's going to go ahead and grab the knights because he can move fast enough to get them out of there. Everybody else is just going to try to get here as quick as they can. If not, they'll go here and then here. Uh, I've got my, my, my knight's watch. <laughs> the knight's watch coming in um, to, to, to sort of reinforce. Um, basically... Make sure that everybody has Serpent's Blessing prepared and cast. Um, I don't see it, but I did do it. Everybody everybody gets prepared to cast Serpent's Blessing. Because uh, I would rather that not happen the second time. Um, so there you go. Uh, be casting, you know, Air Elementals, which are good at killing uh, Super Combatants and that kind of stuff. I don't remember what her size is. What was her size? Uh, is it six? It might be six. It looks like it's six. No, she's size five, so an air elemental will run her over. If I recall correctly. I think so. I think an air elemental is a size six. I think a full size air elemental is size six. So, you know, we're preparing for that. Um, trying to pull everybody back as just quickly as I can. Um, so, that's what we're doing there. We got these guys here who they survived. And they're going to go ahead and start pulling back. And we're just going to try and <laughs> glomb up everybody. Kind of basically take the survivors from this battle. And try and mash them up with the Night's Watch. Uh, to try for another push against there. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, we can see raiders are coming into our territory. We're kind of summoning up this army and kind of uh, concentrating them. Uh, I'm going to let this dude get killed. That's why I'm sending him over here on an attack run. Just to get him killed. Because he's not... He's too injured, and he's diseased, and, and he already costs, like, like, a lot of gold, so I'm just going to get him killed. I'm not using him for anything. Uh, meanwhile, a lot more sight searching. Um, uh, we're putting some boots on somebody, and she's going to go ahead and act as a shuttle to come over to here and uh, 
everything. We're basically in a mad panic mode to try and put an army together. Because um, she's an heir too, which is quite helpful. Uh, so she's going to be able to summon more air elementals and that sort of stuff pretty handily. Um, we've got Sina Wolf here, um, who's you know retaking provinces and stuff. He's going to come double on back. He was going to go take uh, Roka, but now he's going to double on back and we're going to try and reconcentrate our forces. As uh, we move again <laughs> for a second attempt to try and take this after that uh, devastating loss. Uh, we've got recruitment going, just full burn in all of our pro provinces that we can, especially ones that are near the front. Let's try and take stuff out. Uh, so with that, we're going to go ahead and move on over to turn five, zero. Boom. Turn 50. So... Uh, a lot more site searching getting cast, so that's great news. Um, yeah, let's figure out the damn, that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and take a look over here. Got a couple of battles. So here we can see a little bit of mini turbo communion going on. Um, this is a bunch of nothing, so that's all going to run away. Uh, over here, I'm going to attack a province, right? This is my, uh, my Night's Watch crew, good and lined up. They're attacking a big fat nothing, so we're not going to worry about that. Taking a look at the forest over here. Um, again, he's got another raiding crew going on. Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's take a look. Yeah, he's going to run over that. Um, again, we can see uh, that Ulm just starts devouring. And we also see that Ulm is... I mean, he's got a Queen of Storms already. He's got a Troll King locked and loaded. There's a lot of problems. There's a lot of problems in dealing with Ulm, and it's going to be quite a trick. So... We're going to have to kind of see what we're going to do because that is going to be an extraordinarily dangerous enemy to have to deal with. Meanwhile, uh, raids are happening. He's raiding all over our provinces. Um, taking our lands. Uh, those dastardly uh, those dastardly giants. Uh, really making a good push, honestly. And He's going to go ahead and use Swarm here to take this province and he will succeed. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, over here, we're going to attack something. Oh yeah, this is my bard. Intentionally getting himself killed, so that's good. Um, yeah, and you can just see we're getting beaten back um, with tons of raiding. You know, he's using lots of these really cheap units, massing them up and just throwing them out as raiding forces. Not really concerned whether or not they get killed. Um, and that's just kind of all over the place. We'll see that happen. Um, and then we're going to see him start to thug. He's going to start using these uh, these Scrotty, these werewolves, um, equipped with Frostbrand and Vine Shield. That's pretty much how they all are going to be. Um, and using them to go ahead and act as thugs. And you can kind of see he's going to chop up the poor boys. Chop, 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 chop. So, problematic, to say the least. Um, wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh yeah, this is a province that I took, and here's... Oh yeah, this is my people who are running away. These are my sad boys who run away, who don't want to be here. Um, and uh, they're actually going to win this battle, I believe. Yeah, the knights, the landless knights are just good enough. Um, they're going to go ahead and uh, stop themselves from getting just murderified here. As everybody continues to withdraw. Um, I also previously had a good bit of a uh, province defense here. I don't remember why that was, but, uh, yeah. Wait, where is this? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. Um, anyway, we got some unexpected events happening. We got a weird wizard join. Who is that? Oh, yeah, this is a guy who's got some fire, so he's going to help me cast augury. That's going to be useful. He's going to be doing that a lot. Uh, some not great things happening there. Uh, all units have aged, hooray. And, uh, yeah. But otherwise, he's, uh, he's gonna go ahead and start raiding our territory. Start being a big pain in the butt. And, uh, start killing our dudes. So, these are dark times. Uh, our mighty invasion of Jotunheim has not gone well. Uh, that, uh, that Huntress really caught us off guard. Um, and I was like, man, that sucks. And I, I messaged Nava. I was like, what the hell, dude? Couldn't give me a heads up. I should have known. I had seen her. The, I had seen her ahead of time. I'd seen her before. I should have known. 
Uh, and again, like, I had... Where, where are they? I had these, I had the sneaky girls. I had, the, she was ready. She was with the army. I could have done it. I could have beat her. But I didn't. I didn't have her prepped. I didn't have her prepped. I was getting too cute. And uh, I paid for it. I paid for it. And I died. And I lost 100. <laughs> I was like 200 units. <laughs> so much money. Uh, but now my income is like, whew, man, now I generate so much income. My, my, my upkeep is just plummeting. So it's, you know, I'm able to, to get some, some recruitment going you know, real hard. So that's nice. Um, so I've got this going on. Uh, we're continuing to maintain our bids for Ferris here so that he can continue to forge his things like crystal matrices and that sort of stuff and do, uh, arcane probing and everything. So that's all going about as swell as we could hope for. Uh, there's not a lot that I would want to do radically different as far as that goes. And uh, now you're going to see our second kind of coalition where we have the Night's Watch leading the way this time to see how we're going to do. And he's going to have some more raiders. But the raiders back here don't really matter because they don't generate any monies. Uh, I'm going to teleport Bragwin out of here just to be safe. But uh, raiding over here doesn't do anything because none of it produces any income. So I don't really care. Um, so, anyway, two income, whoop, uh, we're going to continue to march on here. We've got, uh, a gnome. He's been added to the crew. He's going to be casting Strength of Giants. Um, I had fantasies about having him cast Weapons of Sharpness, but I decided not to. I don't know why. I guess I had a lot of stuff I was casting anyway, and so having Strength of Giants just seemed okay, and Weapons of Sharpness just didn't seem as necessary. I've also got Curse of the Frog Prince going on. And a lot of units that are going to be on uh, advancing cast spells. The reason being is that, like, one, it's going to be really good against a super combatant, right? Because, you know, if, if the Huntress pops up again, like, they'll just turn into a frog. Um, so that's going to be useful. And then the second thing is that... <clears throat> the second thing is that it's good against, like, a turbo communion if they can get close enough. So it's got some benefits to it. Again, you're looking at the same kind of stuff. Fog Warrior, Serpent's Blessing, Mass Protection... Uh, this time we're going to be summoning some arrow elementals. Uh, arrow fend is getting cast. Mass flight, of course. Um, we're doing some poison resists and everything like that. So that's all pretty great. Now next turn we, sh oh, in two turns, no, no, no. Yeah. Next turn we'll have Thaumaturgy seven, so we can get charm up. And charm is going to be really good. We'll probably switch over from uh, Curse of the Frog Prince to charm, uh, so that, that way we can convert guys to join our side. Also, uh, Charm is going to be very useful in dealing with these little jerk faces um, uh, with Scrotty and that kind of stuff. So, uh, as bad as the losses were, we do have answers cooking. So, uh, and, you know, we obviously have the advantage of uh, Yotunheim having fought a protracted war with Nabah, and you know, things aren't really going that badly for him. Anywho, uh, that's the end of this episode. Uh, that is, of course, turn 50. So, uh, I've been the last pretender. Uh, thanks for, for coming by. I'll see you next time.